Hey, welcome back to another review. Today I want to talk about the IR cut filter. Uh, this is a filter that I would say if you own a 4K or a 4.6K Ursa Mini, this is a must have filter. So basically an IR cut filter takes um, mid range infrared light and blocks it from the camera. So let's actually go through it real quick. I, I shot some tests because I was really curious how much um, issue does it cause? Where Where's the point of like no return as far as like putting ND on? So uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. So here you see no IR cut filter with no ND versus no ND with the IR cut filter. And honestly, there's not a huge difference. There's a slight tint difference maybe a little bit in the face. Now that's the one thing I noticed with the IR cut filter is it does add quite a bit of green into the shot, but the black stay black. And I think that's really important to note and you'll see throughout this video. Okay, so there's the ND3 with no IR. Here's with the IR. They, they look pretty the same. I mean, if you look at the top of the hat, you can see maybe a little difference. And again, this is the 4K, not the 4.6K. Now ND6 is where I started to actually notice the difference between the two. Um, you can start seeing that, especially in the hat and the shirt, the shirt is starting to get a little bit of red in it. And same with the hat. Now, ND9, it's close to the point of no return. Not, not entirely. So if you're not gonna shoot higher than ND9, not a big deal. But you can still see. The blacks look more black. You can see that red tint in the shirt and the hat. Then we go to 1.2. This is the point of no return on the, four, the 4K camera. You can see a big difference in the shirt. And then you have 1.5, which is an ND9 and ND6. And this just looks like crud. It just turns to garbage. But the IR saves it. It's pretty cool. So you can go pretty high ND. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's go into the 4K, 4.6K now. Again, not really much of a difference between no IR and IR on the 4.6K. This one's a little overexposed, so sorry about that. And then you get to ND3, no IR, IR. Again, not a lot of difference. I mean, you get a little bit of that blue cast in it, but not a huge difference. And then we have ND6, start seeing it a little bit. Not a huge amount, nothing terrible. And then ND9, for the 4.6K, this is the point of no return. Uh, this is when I started noticing in the chair, in the shirt, and in the hat. With no IR, you can see a big difference compared to the IR. And here you go. Look look at that. There's, there's, there's a significant difference in the blacks. Okay, and then we go to the 1.2. <laughs> and uh, you can see it really bad in the hat and the shirt. And then with the IR, it looks pretty clean. Pretty clean. Okay, and then... 1.5 obviously is garbage. You even notice the trees, the greens and the grass and the trees, they just get super like desaturated. It's like, oh brother, where art thou almost? It's kind of odd. Right away I could see, yes, you should have an IR filter, IR cut filter. Now it, that's, that's something that if you search on the internet for IR filter, I found it difficult to actually find one. I'll have a link in the description below to the one that I bought on Amazon. Uh, I think it was like 80 bucks, 90 bucks. Wasn't too bad. This was a 77 millimeter. Um, all my lenses are adapted to a 77. So it's easy to just have one filter to uh, rule them all. Um, it is kind of annoying to switch back and forth between lenses with this. So I just did one quick color correction on the highest one on the 4.6K to kind of give you an idea of what you're able to get back. So you have the two shots here without IR and with IR. So I did a quick color correction and here it is with no IR and with the IR. And you can see the two, the two match pretty well except in the blacks. You know, that hat was definitely black. It was not a reddish color. Um, the one thing I was able to save, you can see here is the grass. So there's the grass kind of brought back green now when I tried to select the uh, the shirt, but I got my arms too and my face, 
I didn't spend a ton of time trying to do it. To me, it just wasn't worth it. Uh, I'd rather spend a minute on set and throw the IR cut filter on than spend, you know, three or four hours in post trying to uh, manipulate and use, you know, masks to mask out my arms and then get the shirt to look black again. It's just, just get an IR cut filter and it'd be way easier. That's the uh, IR cut filter. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you're looking to get this filter, I do have a link to it in the, in the description below. Uh, you can buy it there at Amazon. Uh, that's the one I bought. It works great. Uh, anyway, thanks guys. Be sure to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks. Type, 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 type. I'm doing work. Blah, 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 blah.